folks and welcome back to my um, little workshop this video is just um, a quick video on um, making these bananas that I done in the fruit bowl in the last video now before we start I must say I seen this on Mike Pace's site and I will again put a link down below to Mike's site when I made them I had a lot of uh, questions especially on Facebook and on all the social media really asking me about the angles that we cut them on so I didn't go into any detail I just directed everyone to Mike's site I'll just explain it in this video exactly how I've done it um, I started off with a template the banana shape there's loads of these on the internet yeah, these banana shapes I actually got this one from a kids colouring book I thought it was like the, it was the best shape I could find. Um, so I started with a template and um, a wooden blank. So what I done is I cut the template out and I put it onto a wooden blank. This blank is three inches wide by two inches thick by eight inches long. The measurements are just there. 8b3 b2 that's the blank um, so once you've stuck the template onto your blank of wood the first thing to do is just note that when I've cut this template with the scissors I've left a bit of the white and so when I go onto the uh, bandsaw now I'll leave the black I'll just cut to the outside of the black right round the shape of this banana so that's the first step We'll cut the banana shape out on the template. Let's go to the bandsaw. Okay, the first step, we're at the bandsaw. The bandsaw table is at 90. Um, the blade that I have in is just a 3 8 general purpose blade. And what we're going to do now is cut around the template. Um, I may take the sound off this because it will get a bit noisy with the dust extractor and the bandsaw on. So here we go. Okay, so the banana shape is cut out. That's the first stage. We'll go back over to the bench and I'll show you the next stage. Okay, so we've now followed the template round on the bandsaw and got our basic banana shape. The next thing we have to do is cut the corners off this. So we need to draw a line on the side, on the two inch part. I say two inch, but it's not critical. It can be one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, two inch. It's not a critical measurement, but we need to mark it throughout the center, right the way down. The way I've done it, I got my marker gauge. I set it on center on both sides, and then I just simply scribe down and put a line right through a scribe line. To make it more pronounced, I took a little plastic flexible ruler, I bent it round, got my marker pen, and just drew round on both sides. So this stands out a lot more when I cut it. So what I've got to do now is take it to the bandsaw again, set the table on the bandsaw now to 30 degrees. 27, 28, 30, some of this, it's not exactly spot on, so don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be spot on. So the table will be set at 30 degrees. The table is going to be like that. And we're going to cut at that angle and follow this right round at 30 degrees and knock the corner, knock this corner off. 
then we'll turn it round and unlock the, the opposite corner we'll do that on all four sides so if we look at a banana that has already been made what I'm going to do is the table is going to be set 30 degrees and we're going to feed the banana right through right the way round so that's the next step very straightforward um, so over to the band so now you can if you don't feel comfortable doing this on the band so you can do it on a scroll saw and uh, whatever you do works safe so let's go over to the band saw ok we're back at the band saw I want to follow this line I know you won't be able to see it on that side I have got a couple of push sticks ready in case I'm going to need well I will need them but they're there ready for when I get a bit close but uh, just take your time doing this it's, it is quite safe bit of noise now Notice that the table is set to 30 degrees when I make these four cuts. Okay, the first stage of the sanding, um, I like to work on this old machine because I can come round the corners quite well on the uh, bananas and I can do the flat sides. So this is my machine of uh, choice. Um, I do the first stage, uh, the rough sanding on this and then I'll go to the little hand sanders later on for the final shape. So just to knock them into the rough shape, it's going to be a bit noisy. I've got the air conditioning unit running at the top, the air exchange unit. I've got the shop vac plugged in to the uh, machine, but it's still quite dusty. So I'm going to be wearing a mask. It's hot in that lot. There's <coughs> the general shape of the uh, banana. Now it can be refined, there's a bit more refiner to do, but it's easier to do them on the workbench with the uh, palm sanders. So I'll just finish it off with the higher grits uh, and the palm sander. I'll have a clean off first and I'll come back and show you. So what we've done is we've sanded them on the machine and then um, I've come across with the palm sander and then the little Dremel tool for getting into the corners and then I've just hit them with the, this, the hand sanding pads um, 120, 240 and 380 and the only finish on them is a bit of this um, beeswax um, mixture which is beeswax and uh, liquid paraffin and then I've just uh, used a brush and give them a little buff and I don't want a, um, a high gloss on them you can you can go a lot further you can actually um, get your pyrography machine and put marks on them on the end, I've just done this with a, a marker, a pen, a permanent marker, just to make them look black on the ends or brown, whichever way you want to do. There's an awful lot you can do with them. Well, I hope that's answered all the questions that I got. Um, if it hasn't, uh, just send me an email uh, or a comment, 
and I'll try to answer them but do check out Mike Pace's site uh, there may be something in there that I've missed this is where I got the concept from so do, do have a look at Mike's site um, just to draw your attention to the simple um, template that I made the two bananas you, you can't really notice it but this banana is slightly smaller in length and width than this one um, now the idea of that was so if you wanted to present the bananas as a sort of bunch the fit one fits behind the other that was my original idea so um, if anyone I know you can do this yourselves it's quite easily done but if anyone would like a copy of this just send me a, a private message um, your email address and I'll just email it out to you um, so I'll leave a few stills and I'll say thanks very much to everyone take care of yourselves and don't forget work safe bye for now mm -hmm.